prime my face. I don't usually do this. I'm going to take the Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. This will help my makeup stay in place because it's going to be a long day. This feels lovely. It's not one of those silicone primers, um, but it just feels like a velvet on the skin to work on my schnoz. Because I'm going to try and like keep as little as possible in with me in my bag. And in the meantime, I'm going to put my Urban Decay Primer Potion on. This is the one in Eden. Um, this will just help my eyeshadow stay put all day. We hope. Yep. I have really oily eyelids. I need like industrial strength um, primers from my like, greasy eyelids. So time for a foundation. I'm going to use my Tarte BB Cream. No, this is Tarte BB Tinted Treatment 12 Hour Primer. Holy Moses. And I love this. This just gives such a gorgeous finish to the skin. Put a little bit on the back of my hand. I'm going to use my um, Nima brush. It's like a round top kabuki brush. Freaking love it. I might zoom in now. Hold on. Okay. Zoomed in a little bit more so you can see what I'm doing. I've blogged about this foundation before and it is one of those multifunctional things that is a primer, is a BB cream, is a foundation, is a base for your, if you want to put more foundation on, but like usually I don't because I'm pretty lazy. This gives a, a really nice um, flawless finish to the skin, which we like. And the reason why I'm using it today is because I know that it lasts all day. So I usually wear it to, if I'm wearing it, I'll wear it to work and I can put it on at six o'clock in the morning and then at half four it still looks the same. Tiny bit of like um, shininess on the schnoz but mostly is great. Because it's slightly darker than my face I am going to bring it down the skin, or bring it down the skin. I'm going to bring it down the neck but probably whenever I put the dress on because otherwise I'm so scared I put makeup on and then put the dress on because I'm so messy and I'll end up getting it on the dress. Do you like the oh shit? Do you like the dress though? I got it in um, Matalan a couple of years, a couple of years, yeah, a couple of years ago when John and I were up the north, and I haven't had a chance to wear it, and then I forgot that I had it, and then I was doing a bit clearer, and I found it, and I was like, oh, deadly, and it's perfect for a really nice summer wedding like today. Okay, I think I'm going to zoom in even more. Oh my god, you're going to be like this in a second, um, because it's time for eyeballs, time for eyebrows, and we're going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz in blonde. Full, dis uh, full disclosure, I started to use the brow pomade and just ended up looking like this with angry brows. I just, I can't do it when I have, I'm on a time frame. And Bailey's gonna go mad. <coughs> Told ya. Time for the eyeballs. I'm gonna take this Body Shop eyeshadow in the shade, where is it? Oh my god, Golden Cinnamon. And I'm gonna use this in the crease. Because it is a gorgeous shade. As I've said before, blend like a mofo. These shadows are low. You can see how pigmented they are, and I barely like tip my brush into them, so a little goes a long way. Just gonna blend it out until you can barely see it anymore. And then I'll just blend the edges. Next I'm gonna take another one of the Body Shop Colour Crush eyeshadows in the shade Coco Deluxe. I'll show you how. It is a wonderful brown shade. It has like gold shimmer running through it. I'm just gonna take this like this on a flat shader brush. Let's bring this on the outer V. I'm just going to blend it with the the brush that I used to apply the um, the first shade because I'm lazy. Now I'm going to take this little teeny weeny look at this little teeny weeny brush from Blank Canvas Cos Cosmetics, and so good, so cute. Wait. Look, it's so cute. Wait, there. See that compared to that's the MAC 217 and this is like a little weeny one and it's great for putting um, shades into the crease. 
just want to add more definition into the socket. Oh, and I'm just using the same Yoki Bob but, um, Body Shop shade. It looks good to me! Okay, next we're going to take the star of the show. It's this NARS eyeshadow and it is in the shade Himalaya and it's one of those dual, the new dual intensity <laughs> shadows. Look at it. Uh, look at it. And I'm going to apply it wet. And I'm going to use this. This is the La Roche Posay Thermal Water. I use a flat trader brush. Take a load of it on. Spray this. And then let's get busy. And I'm just going to put this on the, on the eyelid. This just makes the pigmentation more intense, more in your face and more on your eyelid. And again, I'm just going to blend the colours in the crease again, just to make sure that it all looks seamless. Out in the eye, in the eye. We'll see when I have the mascara on if I'm going to add more colour and stuff. What I'm going to do is take this flat brush, this is from NARS, got this a couple of years ago, take the brown um, body shop shade again, just take it on the lower lash line, just on the outer the half. And I'll take the first shade again, with that little pointed blending brush and just take that underneath. So it just kind of ties everything together. Do this. So time for mascara. Okay, as per usual, I'm gonna use the 17 Falsify HD Mascara. Favorite mascara. This is my favorite mascara of the year so far. Um, especially from the drugstore, the more affordable end. So I have to look in the mirror because otherwise I'll poke myself in the eyeball. And I can't talk. So I'll be waiting in a second. Someday I'm gonna pass out from applying mascara because I keep holding my breath. I think that's the eyes complete. I'm going to contour a bit and I have this little mini nice Laguna bronzer. This is from um, one of the gift sets from Sephora last year. So I'm going to use this Real Techniques, whatever brush it is. Talk about those uh, cheekbones. I'm just going to switch to the MAC 109 just because the other one is two point. I don't want to do that much contouring. It's just a bit easier to blend. Get rid of my massive forehead. Okay, because I have like kind of warm tones in the eyes and then the coral on the nails and the dress is corally bits, I don't want to have too much coral on the cheeks, so I'm going to use the Hourglass Ambient Blush in, in coral. I didn't mean that one. It's just, it's not that coral, it kind of look. It just gives more of a glow to the skin. I just love this blush so much. Do you know what? I've never been so wrong about a product before. Because when I first got it, I was like, <clears throat> not what I thought it was going to be. But it is just the perfect blush, like, for glow and for natural things. Happy days, yeah. I just got to do it up there as well. This blush, when I ever, if I ever reach the bottom of it, I will buy it again. It is Dim Infusion, if you're wondering. And it just seemed to have more coral in it now. At the start, though, it seemed to be more powder than coral, and I was freaking the crap out of myself. Okay, done. I'll just put a bit of powder on the face. I'm gonna use my, oh shit. I'll use my ambient lighting powder in diffuse light. This one. 
this mattifies the face but it also gives the light reflecting particles in it also gives um a really healthy natural glow to the skin it just makes you look like you have nice skin that you just airbrushed the crap out of your face but you didn't where the maybelline color elixir in mandarin rapture because i just think i love it this is more one of the sheer ones like some of them have like a creamy finish this is a more sheer finish and it is I don't think I love it. Just gives so much shine to the lips. Oh, I love these so much. And that is the makeup done. Open up. Did I hit? Did I hit it off? I freaking did. I'm so messy. Yeah. Do have a hair. <laughs> That's the makeup done. Trying to do the hair now. It's gonna be messy. Fun times. Okay, time to do the hair. I'm gonna put this, the L'Occitane, what is it called? Heat Protective Control Mist all over the hair. Cause I'm gonna do a few curls, I think. Cause I can, I've never used this before. Oh. Smells nice. Just use the uh, Tangle Teaser. Oh, it's so nice. Use my babylous wand that I used again. Let me bring you up there. Done. Oh, off. Click. So attractive, isn't it? So I'm just going to leave the, the curls like that to, cur to cool down and I'm going to get into my dress now. I tell a lie. I'm going to put this Kerastase um, VIP Volume and Powder Spray on it because I want to. And it smells like Joanne's wedding. Wow, it's so beautiful. Okay, now I'm gonna get into the dress. Okay, the dress is on now and I have like kind of weird spanks on, but it doesn't matter. Have the dress on, it means I can fix everything else. So I'm gonna take the hair down. Ow. Oh. Just gonna run my fingers through it. It's very judgy. That looks fine. I like when it's big and bouncy. This is the L'Oreal Volumetry Powder Fresh Spray SOS Volume for fine hair. Don't have fine hair, but um, I need volume. And it's small enough that I'm gonna be able to keep it in my handbag. hair today. That's it. Hair and makeup done. Okay, time for me to go to the wedding. the details for the outfits and everything in the um, description box below when I'm ready to go to a wedding. Hope my hair stays nice like this for the day. But totally loving my little clutch bag that I'm gonna have to like school washify stuff in because I got it full right now. And uh, yeah really looking forward to the wedding I will take lots of pictures and everything. I don't think we're gonna vlog because they it's like somebody else's day. But um 
Yeah, okay, I can't believe I'm actually ready our time. This is like insane. And I'll try and insert a few photos of me and Joanne in our finery for weddings and stuff. Because last time you saw us, I was in the bridesmaid's dress, she was in a wedding dress. So now we are guests at a wedding. So um, yeah, thanks really for watching. If you like these Get Ready With Me um, videos, give it an L thumbs up, let me know, and then I'll know whether to do more or not. Um, so thanks really for watching, see you next time, bye.